Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in to CGFX Uganda. My name is James Katz as always, and I'm here actually to show you so many things today. How to mark order blocks. Order blocks are found either in supply zone or demand zones. When uh, an order block is formed, when does an order block is formed? We're going to know that. Now, before I go into the video, allow me first thank you so much for loving our content and watching thank you so much for those who are following us on instagram at cgfx uganda thank you so much for following guys thank you so much for the love you know now don't hesitate of course to still show us some love by hitting that like button okay so that this video is suggested to other friends and of course don't forget to subscribe if you're new please subscribe and hit that notification button so that actually you're notified whenever we upload some content our major aim here is to teach you basically uh, my major aim actually is to teach you you know the basics of how to analyze uh, market charts let's go into the video without further ado now like i said with top-down analysis uh we analyze from the highest time frame by looking out uh some major major points that we have to take note of as we go down to lower time frame now this is jbp usd would love to see how basically it's performing now on a monthly time frame as you can see right there we can see that it is really a downward trend okay it is really a downward trend so what we're going to do we're going to mark out some major trend lines and then we also mark out some major order blocks that are right in the demand zone now what are demand zones to identify a demand zone our uh, demand zones are uh, always on lower lows or high lows okay remember when the market is moving it forms high lows and the lower lows eh? that's when it is in a downward trend but when it is an upward trend it forms a high high and a high low you understand now for this case we have this particular uh, trend and uh, to mark or to be specific we have this high low and then this lower low high low lower low and so many and so many like that so what we are going to do is we are going to to mark out uh this order block right here uh, we have this order block we have this particular order block right here okay this order block okay so how does order blocks form now this order block an order block rather forms after a break of market structure we have a break of market structure right there okay bms break of market structure it's right there sorry about that bms break of market structure so once that once that happens it means an order block has been formed and that order block that led to the break of market structure it is right here so once you mark out that we can stretch it and we see that it ends right there okay so now if if someone actually bought in this area those long-term traders here and even color cent you can see uh you can see with your fibonacci tool right there like i said that we buy in premium and we sell rather we sell in premium and we premium premium and then discount okay right there this is premium zone this is discount zone okay so when in premium you just look out for order blocks okay order blocks in premium happen after a change of a change of uh, structure okay now you see here we are in an upward trend uh, here we are in an upward trend and then we change into a downward trend so this change in sorry about that 
this change in a character right here what you call chalk okay once it happens it means an order block has been formed and this time around it is a bearish order block so for this particular our case an order block was right here that led to that led to a downward trend you understand now how how do we uh, sell in premium by marking out uh, some order blocks for example this one here okay or this one um, I've seen it here this one okay you'll be in position to know that when the market actually comes back in this area where I'm supposed to sell, that's when I'm going to go short here. Full swing, short. You see? And those actually who sold, they got some profits right there. They got some serious profits right there. Okay? And, and those who bought when the market hit the discount zone, they also made some profits right there. Okay, some good uh, profits right there. You see? Good profits right there. So, bro, all sister who is watching, once you learn how to use these uh, techniques you'll probably be in position to make money okay so now we have our monthly order block right here and we can see that the market is indeed respecting everything okay it has been moving in this direction and we would love to see how it's going to be affected when it comes to this area here okay so we had that change right there it was moving in an upward direction uh right here and then suddenly the things uh changed eh? things changed and started moving downwards now let's switch to a weekly time frame and we see how it is we have our major you know demand zone stroke order block on a monthly and this is it the market actually i think it is it is in its last time of you know respecting every everything that happened in a monthly time okay but this is monthly ob or you can call it demand zone so you can even see that the market has been moving in this in this range hmm? like this been moving in that range now what we have is we also see uh, some cup uh, pattern here some cup pattern right there it's an inverted cup so what we are waiting to see is is it going to probably change and then it forms a handle right there so we want to see it forming a handle right there and this handle actually on a lower time frame it's going to be a full trend so once it hits that you know monthly time frame uh, order block we are expecting it to change its direction and then it starts moving upwards so we want to see that so right now you can see that it's about to hit this, you know, monthly order block. So let's switch to a weekly. And now, the other thing also to look out for uh, are the candles, the candle, the type, the nature of the candles. You can see that we've been in a bearish, you know, move throughout this week. Uh, last week, the other week, we were in bearish move. You can see we have those red candles right there so since we are starting to see the formation of this you know bullish candle right here we are expecting the market actually to move up because it has hit 
this monthly it's about to hit or we can probably say it has it has formed it is forming a swing low onto this monthly order block and then we move up so let's switch to a daily and we see on a daily on a daily that's where we are okay on a daily we have this swing low that has been formed so let's see whether the market is going indeed to move up as we are expecting but particularly if that is what we have that is what we have if you are to draw out some trend lines right here we have that trend line uh, we have that trend line okay we have that trend line very smoothly drawn right there yeah so we also have you can draw also that one so that you're in position to execute very well your trades knowing everything is in control so you can also mark out this daily order block okay this daily order block you can see we had a change of character right there okay remember an order block a bearish order block happens after a change of character and a bullish order block happens after a break of market structure so we have this on a daily uh, we also have uh, this okay we also have that that order block right there so if we can move to a lower time frame of four hour we can probably see what is happening okay now we have uh, this touch on to this trend line okay we have the market has touched this trend line so what we expect is will it move up or it will just take out this liquidity and then it moves down so that it touches here and then it moves up so let's watch closely and see okay so let's move to a uh, daily rather one hour time frame and we see one hour one hour this is what we have on one hour time frame okay on one hour time frame this is what we have okay we have this this all these are daily all these are daily order blocks okay so don't be confused right there all those are daily order blocks and maybe to go back a little bit back we shall have uh, we shall have this we shall have to mark out some order blocks right there uh, if we have uh, this order block okay if we have this order block that happened right after this bms that actually is like a fake breakout so what we are going to to do is to go on a one hour time frame to see what is happening now on one hour time frame you can see that this four hour order block right here it has been retested okay it has been retested okay after the trend line retest now we expect to actually move up sorry about that we expect to move up okay we expect to move up so if you are to take uh, some trade here on one hour that means you're going to mark out this order block here on one hour okay you can change that that can it a little bit that order block right there so that once the market uh, retests it 
just retest it and then we move so if you are to book for a long you're going to probably put it right there and then you move up to this very order block right here let's mark it out this very order block okay right there you can take its 105 percent and then yeah that is going to be your take profit right there you understand so here i said an order block in a supply zone happens after a change of character we have a change of character here chalk right there and then in a demand zone an order block happens for example uh, for example this one for example this one right here okay happens after um after break of market structure okay after break of market structure that is bms break of market structure okay so we have that right there so now that's what we are expecting on jbp usd otherwise i think i've been brief if you found value in this video don't forget to hit that like button if you have any question leave it in the comment section because we always have limited time here okay but i can probably go ahead and i explain to you okay how things are done so that's what we have so let's see how the market is going to play out and of course ride along so thank you so much for watching don't forget to share bro don't forget to hit that like button i remain james katz cjfx uganda let's meet in another pair